hello, hello, hello. I'm bike again. Your main man, the real Bill. Real, folks. You know I'm gonna beat this horse. Okay, it's not dead yet, but I'm gonna beat it. I was thinking today. You know I'm always thinking. And it hit me. What hit me, you may ask? The thing that hit me was the fact that what we can call Black Lives Matter is really the big baby syndrome. Yes. So much so that I decided to pen a poem. And the poem is titled Sooner or Later You Gonna Learn. You have two parents to teach you a lesson. If you do not learn your lesson from them, you will have a teacher to teach you that lesson. If you do not learn your lesson from your teacher, you will have a principal to teach you that lesson. If you do not learn your lesson from the principal, you will have a juvenile detention officer to teach you that lesson. If you do not learn your lesson from the juvenile detention officer, you will have a county jail guard to teach you that lesson. If you do not learn your lesson from the county jail guard, you will learn your lesson from a federal penitentiary guard. If you do not learn your lesson from the federal penitentiary guard, you will learn your lesson from a federal penitentiary inmate. If you do not learn your lesson from the federal penitentiary inmate, you will have no other choice but to learn your lesson from death. Sooner or later, you gon' learn. I'm reminded of a situation. Actually, let, let's just go hypothetical, okay? Because I, I love dealing in hypothetical. You have a child who's acting up, okay? Daddy finds out about it. You know how mama say, you know, wait till your daddy get home. Well, when daddy rolls up, daddy needs to hear maybe about five words of mom's explanation of the boy's behavior before he goes and pulls that big daddy belt from around the waist. Those who were raised right, y'all know about that daddy belt? You know, that, that tingling of the belt that you automatically start to get weak in the knees about, okay? Because you know some lash is about to come for your ass. Well, daddy goes on to laying into him, okay? He's putting that belt on him, tearing his behind up, and he's talking to him with it too. Didn't I tell you not to do that anymore? Now, those who got behind whoopings growing up, you already know what it's about, okay? The whole, I won't do it no more, I won't do it no more. <laughs> or starting to cry before the belt even hit you. So, daddy lays into him and he does what he's supposed to do, which is being the disciplinarian, showing him love, okay? This is what love is. Love is correction. Thugs don't know that. But anyway, so he does what he's supposed to do. And after he lays into his son, the Black Lives Matter movement can, can, be, can be compared to that son now running out into the street saying, Help! 
help, help, help. I just got my ass whooped. Help. I just got my ass whooped. My daddy just laid down the law. My daddy just disciplined me. Help, help. And some white lady rolling up saying, what's wrong? Why are you crying? I, my daddy whooped me. My, my daddy took his belt off and, and, and started whooping me. You can see these welts on my butt and on my legs. Oh, my God. Now, the Black Lives Movement can be compared to all of these protesters, or the white lady is compared to the protesters, who then appeals to some stupid behind freaking cop or somebody who says, you know what? I think we need to get the police involved. Or I think we need to get some agency involved. Let's come down here and let's check this father for putting his son in order. Okay? Because he has no right disciplining him. All right? Little Johnny's able to mouth off and be disrespectful if he wants to. He doesn't have to listen to his mother. How dare you? Punish him physically and harm him. You could have killed him. He's just a little boy. See, that's what Black Lives Matter is. It's a bunch of freaking undisciplined boys running in the street, a bunch of undisciplined girls running in the street, mouthing off. Now notice how they act whenever they somebody does give them the microphone. Notice how they influence other people to act. I should have chopped the video. I saw a video. There was, there was a little, there was two hood chicks. They were in the court, county court, and they were on an elevator. They were recording a police officer. The police officer told them to put it away. He ended up having to physically take the phone from them, and they were freaking acting like little babies. Help, help, help. Help, he, he harming me, he harming me. You got to check the video out. I think it's on World Star right about now. I started to chop the video, but I said, you know what? No, I'm, I don't even need to chop that crap because it's just outrageous, okay, that somebody would be acting this way. But this is what's afoot. We have all of these degenerates running around claiming that they've been wronged over a few people who deserve to get the ultimate belt. You know what the ultimate belt is? It's a cop's bullet to your ass. That's what it is. That's the ultimate belt. Because you didn't learn from any of those people that I talked about in my poem. None of those people were able to get through to you. So, sooner or later, you're going to get that discipline. Sooner or later, life is going to teach you that lesson. The easy way? Or the hard way. So the real issue from these protesters is that these protesters feel that someone who was not doing what they were supposed to be doing, someone who was not following orders, was somehow unjustly disciplined. It's ridiculous that we have people who were simply disobeying the law who are on the wrong side of the law who are now being put up there with the likes of uh, Medgar Evers the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Huh? What? I mean, are, are, are black people really realizing that they have been sold this bill of goods which is pure bullcrap from liberals? That we are supposed to deify a freaking thug? A freaking dropout? Huh? Somebody that freaking believes that they can do whatever they want to do. They can swing on anybody. Michael Brown is now your hero? Really? That's how far you've fallen as a people? That you guys don't even honor what's good? unbelievable that's all i got for today folks take care peace